What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Glory in Paradise with Monaco. Don't forget, if you enjoy the series, hit the like button down below. Every one of those likes does help the channel on YouTube algorithm find our videos. And if you're new and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below as well. And links down to the second channel, which is actually on pause for the moment because of the whole coronavirus thing and the lack of hours. It's hard to get justified buying new games right now with the finances and other things I want to... Well, I've got to be careful with my money, essentially. So that's on pause for the moment. Because um, obviously, if Reese has this part two, I don't have a game to play other than Star Wars Jedi Fallen, which could play that, I suppose. But yeah. Um, and also, just go down below as well. And Twitch channel down below. Um, fri live on Fridays, Saturdays, and Tuesdays, work permitting and that kind of thing. So I'm a bit knackered. Emotionally, yesterday, I was working... I'm at my time. I was working for five hours on my feet, stood up, marshalling a door. And then I was watching United get Champions League football, which was a stressful ordeal um, on the final day, but we did it. So, yeah. Today we're going to show you come here, and I'll tell you why in a second when we go through the games and show the fixtures um, coming up. So, first of all, games off camera. Let's get to them. BFC Lauren 2 0, Rodriguez and Undervar with the goals in this game. Um, pretty boring game, if I'm honest with you. We didn't really play amazing football, but we were. Kind of playing within ourselves. And it was nice to get another clean sheet and a 2-0 victory. But nothing very special. BFC Mets 2-0. 2-1, sorry. Um, this game was a weird one. We actually played better in this game in the last in, in, the, in the previous one. Um, Gelson Martins got one. And then Ben Yedder got one. They got back early on with a belting strike. It was literally... He's got 10 long shots. He's done like 40 yards. Um, something like that. Um, great goal. And then after that, we reset and got control of the game again. Which is good to see, actually, from us. Um, I, I was worried about a bit of, a bit of wobble. After they conceded the goal, but they kind of re recomposed themselves. Didn't get the third goal, unfortunately, but we, we kind of reset ourselves. It was really good to see. Beat FC Copenhagen 1 0. And this game kind of prompted a training change to try and work on our conversion. We were dominant in this game. We really, really were. Depay got a brilliant strike, bottom corner from long range, um, but we just couldn't get that second goal. We weren't looking like conceding, but 1 0, you're never quite sure, are you? Um, we got the win in the end, though, and it's a big win because Champions League is now very much. Almost qualified. The group, sorry, the group stage is almost done. We'll get to that in a second. Beat City to end 3 2. How I won this game, I have no clue. It was probably. Um, we focused so much on the conversion that maybe the defending side was kind of ignored or forgotten about. Um, St. Etienne no, were, were, are, are always were in the top four um, in the league. And we were brilliant attacking-wise, but defensively we always looked like we were susceptible to this, to, to, to a counter um, or a general, a general attack. Um, but a late goal from from uh, Berisha, B, I can't, I can't, Binot. But no, what his name is. I can't, I can't say his name right. Defenders scoring all the goals for us. It was hilarious. Um, it was like, yeah, okay, fine. It was bizarre. Um, it, I've not had that in a while. I had. I remember under F, an FM God FM years ago. I like Jones scoring lots of goals for me once uh, in Man United. Say, but yeah, all the, all both set backs scoring scoring the goals. FM never ceases to amaze you, does it? Mm. Bounce back though in front of goal. We had a bit more time to train on this one. Uh, well, we had more time overall. We've been training, working on the conversion. Riggers in the fourth minute got the early goal. Then Gelson Martins got one. Then G and Vignetta. 15 minutes were freeing all up. Um, they then kind of decided to defend a bit better. Um, so Mario got one second half and that finished. Then they got them to see the goal. I was a bit disappointed because of the goal. I wanted a clean sheet to try and get a golden's, golden's a bit higher. But yeah, 4 1, much better in terms of goal scoring in the last couple of games. So, league table, guys, we're currently nine points clear um, of fifth, which is what we're kind of still aiming for um, this season. Um, my mentality on FM now is get you get minimum expectation you, you, you're going for and then look to win the league or whatever. So, for example, in this scenario, I'm thinking get top four secured, then we can go and try and win the league, and that's about a bonus. So, if we get that completely sealed off, top four, which I think, based on the form we're in, um, I think we will... Pretty much pull, start pulling away from these and Ren. Um, we can then kick on. So, um, Champions League group looks like this. I think a win, if we, if both us and City win today, I think that does it. So, that's a big reason why we're doing this one live com. Also, Lille are not really that much of a big team in this league as they're currently 
um, where the where the currently in the table, they're currently like tenth. Plus, I want to do the Leon game because they're top of the table. So that's why I'm doing the Getty Cup Maven now and then a little bit next in the Leon next episode because Man City game might not be that relevant if we've already qualified. So what I'll probably do is I'll do the Leon game here, then come back maybe for Ren or something like that. Maybe Len and EA Wingamp, wherever they, they are, and do a double live con for that one. Maybe, um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to because we because we could qualify today. I want to focus on this, then do Leon, then do a double live con after that. So that's the plan at the moment. But I do reserve the right to change that. Then after that, I think we might have to do PSG after that one because that's a big game there and it gives us a chance to go through January window. So yeah, let's go, guys. Let's get the camera on the right position um, so I can see what's going on. And team selection. So look at the fitness of players. But she's got a bit of a issue. Um, I'm going to just rest him completely today. I think that's a good idea. And I'm going to play Osman today. I need to play him more often. Um, and apart from and apart from that, I can't really get the first team out, which I think this essentially is. Um, the general window. I don't really have a target in mind. There's no one really standing out um, that I want to go for. Playing four four two. Interesting. Um, so hopefully we can we can qualify if we get a point today. Well, I hope we can win this match because if we, if we win this game, um, that's fine. If we win this game, then we are basically, I think, qualified. So see, let's see, let's see what we can do. Lindelof, Aguilar, Lindelof, Bakayoko. Nice football playing here, but here you go, into the field. Rodriguez, great ball over the top. Osman's on goal. Can he finish it? No, he can't. I hope next year that's improved a bit because they'll get too many of those that we get we miss, unfortunately. We get kills it in and it's gonna be clear by um FC Copenhagen. Can you find a ball in the box, Samare? Gilson's not getting that. Well, which he is, but he's no he's not. Disappointing. Thank you for James, kills it in. Osman's in there, but now there's a break on here, which is a problem. Um you've got to stop this guy. Someone one of you. There's 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 walking alongside, I'm not really you're kidding me. I need to work on that, on that corner kicks. That is a thing this year I'm noticing a lot, that when we get corner free kicks like that and they get cleared, we need to work on that. Awesome men, play it to play it. He's got to play it somebody. He waited too long there to play it. Should be way early to, to, to Gelson Martins. Throwing Aguilar, he's got throwing here. Finds Gelson, Aguilar. Beats his man, because then awesome men clicks it on. He's not really doing what I want him to do at the moment. Half time, it's the same old story. Um... That keeps happening in this this year. Lots of domination, just not confirming the chances consistently. Um, so I'm just going to look at. Um, I don't know what to change here. I think this. I, I, I think there's been. There's, I don't know if it's the tactic we need to change to be more consistent. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to really change here. I don't know. I think Osman is mean, not really consistent enough up front at the moment. Um, Bengen is not great either, but again, it's, uh, I can't find a striker that I, that I trust completely at the moment. Um, but they have moments when they look really good and they go quiet for two or three games. Right, This, is, right, this isn't working. I'm taking him off. He's been, he's been next to useless. Um, Bengen is coming on. Um, and yeah, this Bengen is coming on because Osman is often nothing up front. Samare. These two to stop doing this. Try to play about why. Guess Martins. Agua. Cousin Bengeda. Come on, lads. You've got to score. Corner kick. James Rodriguez. Kills it in. Fabulous. Bengeda. Samare. Rodriguez. Memphis the pie. What happened? It's one nail, Bengeda. But what happened there? Did he, get, did, he, did he shoot it at Bengeda and then he's turned and popped it in? 1-0 Ben Yedder. We deserve it on balance of play. Um, Tamari gets it here. Fix it back to James. Yeah, I get that. So, shocking defending. Oh, he bounced on the defender and comes back to Ben Oh, fair enough. I wasn't sure what happened. It was so quick. 1-0 Ben Yedder. I mean, yeah, we'll take the goal, but again, really offside. Because you see, it's a weird goal because I think it's a, it's a bad first touch, isn't it, from the defender lot? Yeah, it's bad first touch. Okay, not showing the full goal. Fair enough. Agua, Rodriguez, bit of space, great ball, Bengeda. Can we get to him? Bengeda's full on goal. 
Quand c'est cas. This is basically what happened in the first game. Literally. Go to him! Mm, hate that. Don't stand off him. Engage him. So we're going to have a change here. I'm going to bring off Gilson. Um, and pay Rodriguez out there. Because I feel like I have... The problem is this is bench. I don't have a natural player who can play all three positions or two of them. Um, guess I've got injured. I don't have him playing right wing though, unfortunately, today. Um, so I'm going to have to keep him on because I don't want to mess up everything. Everything. So Rodriguez really is coming off. But he's got to come off. He's got to come off the one here. This is a oh, game, please. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick him out there. And he's going to just have to do a job. Um, Zal's coming on. And George coming off for Balotore. But yeah, the bench is not perfect. There's, there, I don't have a player who's multifunctional position who I can trust. And that's the big issue with picking a bench sometimes. And they're going to probably score now because we've been so poor in front of goal. Get the ball off him. Get the ball off him. Again, why? look at him just standing there watching. On the box, keeper. This is what I'm talking about with the with the wingers and the fullbacks. It is so infuriating when you see them stand and watch them. The pie, so many chances today that we should have won this game by more. Does not convert the chances again. Now we're getting nervous now, and now we're getting negative. We're sitting too deep. Come in the penalty area. Equaliser. It's just shit conversion of chances. I don't understand what's up with the team this year with the, with the goal scoring. It's one thing after a sodding over. So many great opportunities. They miss every single one of them. And then I just don't understand what's up with these strikers. I really, really don't. And defensively here, just look at this. What he's not even getting, even getting near him, is he? Oh, so frustrating when you dominate the game. You're the better team, but they just won't convert their opportunities. And it's so frustrating. Um, so many good one-on-one -on -one opportunities. I mean, it's been it off. Again, not good enough. I don't know whether it's the mechanics are wrong in the game still, or my strikers are just out of form. But it's so infuriating when you see great one-on-one -on -one opportunities. There's a bit of composure, and just don't have it. Um, we may have still qualified, but I don't know. I don't think we have. Um, no, we haven't. We've got. It's going to go to the next games, isn't it? Just convert your chances, boys. It's not hard um, to put the ball back in the net because um, it's more, more consistent than you're doing. Um, but yeah, it's weird. You know, you look at Austin men, Austin men, it's just frustrating when you get the opportunities and you, 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 your players have a mental block in front of goal. Um, so what does it look like after that? Let's have a look. Um, we're still in a good position. If, hang on. If Man City beat Sevilla, though, we've qualified. Right? I could be wrong in that. Come on, Man City. Don't be idiots now. It may still happen. We've qualified. Well, it's kind of a weird a weird way, way of doing it. I, I, obviously, I thought we'd blown the chance to qualify. But, like I said, at the start of the group, this is what I thought would happen. We'd beat most of the teams below us and City would beat everybody else and would, you know, help us get qualified. That's why I liked having a big team like City in the group and relatively two small teams. So we qualified from the group. Frustrating though, I don't understand what is up with these guys in terms of their conversion. Um, yeah, they agree. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I know this tactic works because I've used a version of it before. Um, it's not my job to provide goals for the team. You're a striker. I mean, I'm not a I'm not an expert in football by any means, but the striker's job is to score goals. That's just uh, outside the box thinking here, or inside the box thinking actually. If you can't, if you, if you've got a striker, so next episode we're going to be doing the Leon game because that is a massive game in the title race, and I think we're going to work on con chance conversion. Because you look at the fixtures, you see it's 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, 1. It's not good enough. We need to start scoring more goals more, consist more consistently. So the strikers do anyway. Because the pie is doing all right. 
he's got nine goals, but it 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 feels like it's two or three in one game, then missing for two. And we need to have more consistent striking um regularities up front. So we're back for the Leon game. And after that, we'll probably do, like I said, those two down below there. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. There's also something special planned. It would involve a green screen. We don't have one. So I'm going to see how it looks. It, it'll look a bit weird, but I think it'll be kind of funny to do. So um, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.